find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Okay, so hi guys. So I've got this Tenpa viewfinder. Um, I've had it for about six months, maybe a bit more. Uh, and I promised you guys a review on it, and here it is. Um, okay, so basically what this does, it magnifies the uh, the image on your viewfinder by 1.3. Um, and this is really, really useful on cameras with an APS-C size sensor um, on, a f on something like a 5D or 5D Mark II, 1DS, whatever. This uh, will be pretty useless. Um, but uh, if you're using uh, manual focus lenses on uh, on any you know um, 500D, 40D, uh, 550D, 7D, etc., etc., then this is fantastic. Um, now it's not really any use for video, but for you photographers out there um, who still do use manual focus lenses, um, especially wide aperture ones. Um, I really recommend this. I use this with my uh, with my 1.2, uh, with my f1.2 55mm uh, Olympus lens because um, when people are slightly further away from me I find it really hard to focus at 1.2. Um, when people are closer with closer objects it's pretty easy but um, further away it gets a bit more difficult because it's just harder to see the lines. Uh, and with this, this helps a lot. Um, and it is a bit of a hassle to put it on and off the camera. I wish it was I could just leave it on, but I can't because I'm worried it's just going to snap if I um, if I leave it there uh, while it's in my bag because the bag uh, in my bag the camera's like that, so the weight of the entire bag would be on this. Um, so yeah, it comes in. I don't have the box that it came in, but. I might have it somewhere, but it was a decent box. It was very nicely packaged, um, and this isn't actually the viewfinder. Is just this piece here. This is the viewfinder. This is what you pay for. It was about thirty pound, maybe twenty five pound, something like that, which is about fifty dollars, um, forty five dollars maybe. Um, and it comes with two different eyepieces, um, and I prefer the bigger one. Um, it's nice and comfy and it can fold back but the little one I guess um, yeah I guess some of you might like the smaller one um, but yeah it, it's made from nice quality materials um, it's got very nice glass it's not you don't see any distortion there is vignetting uh, but there's no distortion so it's a little dark around the edges but the picture is pretty clear it doesn't mess up your image on the screen it doesn't um, and what you do you just just pull this off your camera, uh, which is nice and easy to do. And then you get this piece. Um, this is available for Nikon and Canon, and I probably some other cameras too. Um, and you just slide that on there. And then this just screws in here. Um, now, and then, and then you're good to go. Now the, um, you have to do it in that order because this glass is kind of uh, kind of pops outwards a little bit which means if you were to um, screw it in first and then try and put pull it on or off I think it would damage the glass that's what it said in the manual anyways um, but yeah I prefer it with this one um, it gets in the way of the screen a tiny bit, but it doesn't bother me. It's not like it's not like I can't see it. It just means that. Oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. It just means that. Um, yeah, I kind of pulled it back with that, or just from need to see the screen a bit more. Go like that. Um, and uh, yeah, the image quality is good. Um, I definitely recommend it. If it's something that you're looking at get getting, definitely get it. Um, it's uh, it's one of those things that you just, once you have it, um, you don't know how you did without. Uh, and it comes with a cap as well. Um, for this end, I never use this just because, I don't know, I hate caps. They annoy me. I don't use lens caps either. 
Um, obviously I use rear lens caps but um, I just use um, filters um, on all my gear just because I hate lens caps. Okay, now you know that I hate lens caps. Back to the review. Um, this box is good but useless on the field. I don't know, I wouldn't carry this around. Um, and also it doesn't really lock tight, it just just closes, you know. It's sort of like a like a super hard jewelry box or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, so I don't use this. I use one of these um, little SanDisk CF card um, things. Uh, you could get these for about a pound on eBay. I got them with CF cards, but um, yeah, all I do is I fold this back and then I just slide that in there. Um, and then I can keep this one on the other side and then whichever one you want to use, it's always with my camera. Um, and this dangling about is a bit annoying, but it's not too bad. Um, and uh, recently, I haven't really got to use it yet, but I got this... Um, man, I'm out of focus. There you go. <laughs> recently, I got this uh, low pro thing, uh, which holds um, a battery. Uh, this is the low pro Altus 10. Um, and uh, it's a nice little bag it's for a compact camera. Uh, and it'll hold a CF card as well. There's a, I posted a review on it, so I won't. Uh, I think yesterday posted this review. So check it out. Um, go back in time to yesterday and check it out. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, uh, there'll be a link below to this uh, in case you're interested in this because this will be quite, you know, a good replacement for one of these things. Um, so check that out, that review. Um, and uh, and if that doesn't, if you don't like that, then check out the review of this thing because this is awesome. Um, I think I've said that in the past million reviews I did that I really love my new Sandisk case, but um, but it's the truth. Okay, I'm really going on a bit here. So yeah, this is the Tenpa magnifying eyepiece. Um, it's a really nice piece of kit to have for manual focus lenses. Get one. Um, that's pretty much it. Bye.